Today I want to mess a little bit with puns in The Sims 4. We all know that they are amazing, they added so much to the gameplay since we got them. But let me show you my favorite trick about them. So let's say you want to build a park or a national park, this is what I've got just for an example for us today. So you need to fulfill all the requirements and then, for instance, you have a place for a beautiful pond. First of all, of course, we need to mess with the terrain tools. We need to lower terrain. Okay, so let's say our pond will go like this. We will make it deeper, something like this. Okay, after that, you go into water tools and you raise water. Basically, you just fill the space with the water, maybe something like this. Okay, just for an example, let's say this works. Next step, of course, you will want to decorate your pond with something. I really love these different types of the water. For example, this leafy one will be perfect for parks. Of course, we're going to stick... Uh, a sign that will allow fishing and basically you can decorate it with whatever objects you want yeah basically i usually put some flowers some bushes and of course lots of stones okay so for today it basically doesn't matter how you decorate it just for an example let's stick lots of the things in here to make it a little bit cuter okay for instance Maybe you can also stick a fountain or something like this, lots of water lilies and things like that. Many cool ways on how to add on to your ponds. But now let's switch to my favorite thing that we need to do is uh, the things that you use for foundation. Yeah, so basically we will grab this flat square and we will find the perfect place to stick it, for example, right here, here, like more closer, um, closer to the middle, and we will drag it all the way here. After that, you will want to raise it as much as you want, and you will want to change uh, the foundation into the stilt one, for example, this one. After that, of course, you're going to want to mess with the steps. So let me just grab whatever is more or less presentable for us. And another way. On the other side, we will stick them too. Okay. Well, we're going to need to move these things, of course. But again, this is just an example. Okay. So here is how you get this perfect little bridge like customized bridge that you can have for your sims basically let me maybe even like lower it a bit okay maybe this high of course we can use some railings and a cute little fence yeah okay this looks absolutely perfect of course you can change the floor up here maybe we can use something wooden well, let's maybe even use something like this. Okay, by the way, you can make it completely base game if you need to. Okay, now it looks more realistic to me. Like, usually you can find these cute little bridges over the ponds, like, all the time in the parks, which is absolutely great. And you can make it functional, yeah? So your sims can walk over it. I don't know, you can put maybe easels up here. You can... I don't know, make your sims propose up here and have cute screenshots because the view is really cool. Yeah, so imagine you will stick uh, an easel up here, maybe a chess table or something like this. We can even add my favorite thing in the entire game, these cute lights. Let me find them. Okay, so for example, you can make it look like this, which will add to the beauty of the park. Yeah. Okay, let it be like this. And of course, don't forget about other decorations uh, to the pond. For example, I always like to stick fireflies. That's a must have for all my builds. They just make like the nighttime so much cuter. So I will stick a bunch of them to show you how amazing they look during nighttime. Everywhere, uh, maybe even a log. We can stick right here and of course some fish so now it's a completely different type of a pond and let me actually show it to you with the sim let's play test it okay please go up there oh stranger will as you can see it's perfectly usable it's perfectly functional you can see all the fireflies flying and like making this 
making the place uh, look absolutely stunning. Of course, we need more lights. But once again, this is just an example of the things you can make to your parks. Okay, so this is how it looks. I really like this uh, idea with the ponds because, I don't know, to me it's so realistic and cute. And it's easy to do. It can be absolutely base game if you need it to. So, here we are. I hope you enjoyed this video and this life hack. I will see you all next time. Bye.